formulas. It turns out that if you know the radius of a circle, you can find the circumference. Uh, it's going to be 2 pi r, 2 times pi times the radius. Of course, pi is about 3.14, but it's better to use pi itself um, will be on your calculator. So just use pi instead of rounding so much. Since a diameter is just uh, 2 radii, you see the 2r here in the formula. So it makes sense that another way I could write the circumference formula is pi d. So if, you, if you're given the diameter, we'll use uh, this formula. Circumference is pi d. If we're given only the radius, uh, then we'll use this formula. Circumference is 2 pi r. But they both mean the same thing. OK, um, let's look at these problems. Look at problem number one, my friends. Find the circumference. Well, I just told you that the uh, formula for circumference is, and we're given the radius, so 2 pi r. So in this case, it's the, the circumference is going to be 2 pi times 8. So that circumference is going to be 16 pi. Um, so that would be our exact answer, is 16 pi. Um, if you needed a decimal for some reason, um, then you could just put that in your calculator. Using your TI-30XS multi-view, you will notice that the pi button is right here. So if you want to do 16 pi, then there it is. Um, so if I hit enter, well, toggle, then that's approximately 50 point, um, I'll use two decimal places, so 50.27. Okay. 50 feet in this particular case. All right. Um, this form with the pi in it is exact. So if you ever see uh, the direction say, well, give me the exact answer, they're meaning a, none of this 3.14 business, no rounding with a decimal, leave pi in your answer so there's no rounding, it is exact.